One of the oddities about Rebel's built-in GUI dialect called vid is that it doesn't have any straightforward uh, built-in widgets for creating menus. Uh, but it's pretty easy to create menus uh, following a couple simple guidelines and using some modules that are available. Um, the simplest way to create a menu is just to use text. You'll see an example of this on the Rebel desktop. Um, uh, you can see for example here there's a user go to help and quit menu. Uh, and when you click, click on those things, they're in the general vicinity of where you would expect to find menu options up along the top and they're contained in this little green bar. Uh, it makes it appear as a as a menu, and then on those screens, there again, they're not menus, but there are buttons um, that make it pretty apparent and intuitive for the user to find what they're expecting. And that's just simply text. You can create a menu of that sort by uh, doing a GUI so you layout and creating a text widget. Um, and for example, if we wanted to make a quit item, uh, we can make it bold. Now if we wanted to make it do something, again, put a action block after it, and make that actually quit. And you'll see that that appears um, when it's rolled over. It quits the program. Um, that works a little bit better if, um, if you place the uh, text at a certain uh, spot in the GUI and if you uh, space the items a certain way. This example is sort of a template that you can use uh, to very quickly create menus um, using that text guideline and also using a uh, text list which will give you a way to create multiple menu items under a text text menu. Uh, so this example, let's take a quick look at it in the interpreter. I'll uh, we'll paste it in here so you can see how it looks. Um, it's a simple little way uh, that you can create menus without using any external modules. There are some modules that make menu making in uh, Rebel very simple and straightforward and give you all sorts of bells and whistles, but this is a quick way to do it without, any, without using any uh, external uh, bits of code. So I have a file and a help menu. When you click on the file menu, you get this little drop down text box, and when you click on any of the items in that in that text list, you can uh, write uh, code, some action code, just like you would in any other other menuing system. Um, this help uh, option doesn't have a drop down menu, uh, but it appears just like a, a menu option in, in any other system. We can use the quit menu item. So that little drop down box was a text list. Text list. The way this works is we create a GUI. Uh, in this case, we had the uh, GUI centered on the screen, and we label this uh, GUI uh, GUI GUI. That's the label word label given to it in case we need to refer to it. And this also has the size refinement, the layout size refinement. You'll see after the uh, GUI block, there's a uh, set of numbers that show the size of the, the GUI. Um, and so, first thing in this at uh, 100 by 100 pixels, uh, there's a little header with the text you selected, and then a text entry field. And we're just going to use that. Um, we're going to call it display. I'm going to put text in there as um, something to do with the menu items, uh, as the action that's done with those menu items. Then here's the menu. Um, uh, origin, 2 by 2, so 2 pixels over, 2 pixels down, and space between the items in the GUI is going to be Five, uh, five over, five down, um, and then the items are going to be laid out across. And then here is the very first item. This is actually the drop-down menu. It's a text list. We start with this at a position off-screen. So this this thing is following the GUI around. It's always 200 pixels over and 200 pixels up. So off-screen to the upper left, um, and that text list has three items, item one, item two, and quit. Those are the three text items that contain that text list. And when that text list is clicked on, uh, the actions in this block um, are run. And so what happens when that when that text list is clicked on, that's the drop-down menu, uh, it runs through a, sw a switch conditional, 
evaluation and it, it does the switch on the value which has been clicked on so um, if item 1 has been selected it runs this bit of code and at this point when it is actually clicked on this is going to be moved into position later uh, when it is clicked on the first thing that happens is it moves the menu off the screen again so you don't see it and it updates that uh, the GUI so that it does appear off screen and then there's a place and you can see in the comments this is where you put your action code and all we're going to do is uh, that little field that was uh, put into the GUI first we're going to set the text uh, to say file item 1 to show that we clicked on item 1 but that could be any code um, you can have it run another GUI you could have it uh, send a file across the internet you could have it do anything else that you want in code and then uh, when you click on item 2 same thing it runs this bit of code which uh, face offset again is the position of that face that was in pr the previous tutorial um, so it moves it back off the screen once it's been clicked you want it to disappear so it moves it off screen and updates that GUI and then the action that we're doing is just uh, putting the text file item 2 in the little display field and then uh, if the quit text has been clicked on uh, let me quit the program so that's the drop down box and it's going across the top of the screen and at two pixels over and two pixels down we're putting a little text bolding it and saying file when that is clicked on we run through a conditional an either conditional um, and what that's saying what this is doing is checking um, and seeing if the position of that text plus 22 is the same as the position of the file menu meaning it's not moved off screen so if that's the case meaning it's the same it's in the same place we need to move that file offset back off screen um, that just basically means if we've clicked on that file and it's there we need to hide it so what you would expect if you click on the file first it would show the menu and then if you click on it again it would hide the menu so if it's in that position we need to move it off screen if not then we need to move it on screen so um, if the file or not if but if the uh, 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 menu is not in position then we take the file menu position and we set it using the uh, colon to be the text position plus 22 characters so it's slightly below the text that says file so it's just below the text that says file so it appears that it's kind of hanging down from it and then showing it but that can be a little confusing look at it again again we have a file menu option when it's clicked um, if uh, the file menu is the same as the text plus 22 if it's hanging down below the file menu then move the file menu set the file menus offset its position to again 200 by 200 pixels make it disappear make it go off screen and show it uh, if it is um, uh, if it's not shown if it's off screen then set the file menu's position to be 22 pixels lower than the face the text's offset uh, to be 22 pixels lower and then show it. So all that handles is the uh, little text uh, list being moved on and off the screen every time you click on that file menu. Now we've got one more uh, menu entry along the top and that's a little bit of text it says help and when that's clicked on there's no uh, menu for that it just has some action code and again if you click on that we want to make sure that if the file menu is being shown right now that it's pushed back off screen and then we do some some action code. In this case, all we're going to do is put the word help into that display field. Uh, and to be clear here, when the menu's clicked, when it's moved in out, when you uh, click on the file menu, this little bit of code moves it into position, and then the code that defined the text list takes over. And when you click on that text list, all we did was move it on screen, and then the code here takes over and if you click uh, it shows item 1, item 2, item and uh, quit in the uh, text list and when you click on one of those items it runs through this switch and then it actually does the code that you want any of those items to do so there's a code for item 1, item 2 and then quit